Welcome everyone to Virtual Tips and Tricks Part 2. My name is Kelsey and I'm here with the Riverhead Free Library. I'm a librarian here and um, today we're going to be going over different apps for our phones, tablets, computers, and the like. Um, I will be going in between um, different everyday apps, um, library apps, and then touch on some databases. So first I'm gonna go into everyday apps. Um, these are some apps that I use personally um, and some that I know that my family and friends use that are really helpful for every day or you know, on the spot and things like that. So the list of different everyday apps. So first I like to go into the weather app. Um, I like to either use the weather channel or AccuWeather, but feel free to use whatever um, app that you know, you like to use for weather that you watch TV on, um, there is probably an app for that. Um, I like to just do that instead of watching the news and then waiting for the weather to come on. Um, I could just check in the morning what the weather is going to be like. Um, the next thing is right below it, which is email. So uh, I know that most phones come with their mail app but some people prefer to use a Yahoo Mail app, um, a Gmail um, app, and so forth. Um, feel free to you know, either use the app itself or get the Gmail app or the Yahoo app. Another thing that I like to have is a GPS on my phone. I know that uh, for Apple users, there is something called Maps and it can be just as good as different GPS apps but I personally like to use Google Maps. Uh, my mom actually likes to use Waze. Um, it'll tell her if there are um, red light cameras ahead or you know, whatever. Um, but I like to use Google Maps and you know, feel free to get both of them, try them out, see which one you would like best. Um, they are both very good to use. So some miscellaneous um, apps that I like to use is Venmo. If I don't have cash on me and, you know, like say my friend buys me a bagel and coffee, then I can just pay her back on this app without having the actual cash handy. Another thing is Insight Timer. So for those that like meditation or calming music or just some background noise uh, while they're studying or doing any other work, Insight Timer is a great tool. Um, to get that background noise, to get that music for um, meditation, some sound music, sound waves, um, I, singing bowls, I guess is the um, term as well um, for their music, um, from guided meditations to just music to meditate yourself. I think that this is a great um, app to have. So next we're gonna go into library apps. So wait, the library has apps, kind of. <laughs> so yes, um, there are things that you might have heard a lot of us here at the library say, such as Libby, Overdrive, Flipster, Canopy, and BrainFuse. These you can get on your Google Play Store, on your App Store, wherever it is that you get your apps as well as these are websites that you can use on our website itself. But for now, I'm gonna just go into the different apps that you can get on your tablet, on your iPad, on your phone, um, and different things like that. So first we're gonna go into Libby and Overdrive. These are interchangeable, so it depends on your preference. Libby is more user-friendly. It's also kid-friendly. Um, it allows you to sign into your account with your library card so you can access eBooks and audiobooks. And Overdrive is an app that gives you access to eBooks and audiobooks. Um, again, it might not be as user-friendly um, as Libby, but it is all preference if you prefer it. Um, Overdrive you can also use on the computer, on your laptop, um, etc. Uh, for digital devices. The next thing is going to be Flipster and Canopy. Flipster is a great app to have if you like to read magazines. Uh, you can access these on your digital device with your library card. Um, and yeah, it's, so you can access all these different types of magazines from DIY to People Magazine to home improvement stuff, um, you name it. 
Um, it's all there for you on Flipster. Canopy is another um, app that you can use to access movies, documentaries, and international films. If you're familiar with Netflix or Hulu and things like that, um, Canopy is very similar. Here, you just log on with your library card and you have access to all of these um, films. BrainFuse. So BrainFuse is a great tool for resume building, tutoring, homework help, you name it. It's great for yourself, for your kids, your grandchildren, neighbors, friends, whoever. Um, and another great thing is that um, all public libraries in Suffolk County, there are live tutoring available for you um, from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. So this is a database as well as a website that you can access. Um, and it's available for you for free to get help with um, and advice for different subjects, homework, and more. So now I'm gonna to touch on different li library databases. And again, this is stuff that you can access with your library card right on our website. So if you go to riverheadlibrary.org, and databases, you will see all of um, what we have available. So these are just going to be a few that I mentioned, but we have countless other databases at your disposal. So again, Overdrive, Flipster, Canopy, BrainFuse, um, these are ones that we just mentioned before, but on the other side, we also have Ancestry. So I know a lot of people are interested in their Ancestry.com, their DNA, family trees, Another thing is career cruising, uh, consumer reports, Muzzy, Pronunciator, and Suffolk historical newspapers. So first we're gonna go into Ancestry and career cruising. So Ancestry is an amazing tool to create a family tree, learn about different ancestry, find different historical documents for your, um, your your family, um, and you can even purchase a DNA test, which I think is very cool. I did it myself, and it's really interesting to see my um, background because I am a mutt, I'm a whole bunch of different things. But it is very cool to have that right here and available for you. Um, you can have a place to create your family tree and refer back to, and to, um, and so forth. Career cruising is a great tool for those who are looking for schools, colleges, scholarships, careers, resume building, even um, interview advice. There is a YouTube channel, there is a YouTube video, I'm sorry, that explores this database a little bit more. You can find that right on our Riverhead Free Library channel right here. Um, and I highly recommend it for anyone that is interested in um, you know, schools, colleges, careers, scholarships, and so forth. I think it is a great tool for everyone. Next um, is Consumer Reports. A lot of people like to read the Consumer Reports magazines um, for different, you know, items such as a vacuum cleaner, um, technology, a GPS, so forth. But did you know that you can actually access these online? So what's really great is that you can actually access this online instead of coming and flipping through the physical pages. So if you're someone that likes to read an ebook instead of a physical book, you have consumer reports here for you online. Muzzy is a, um, a tool to help anyone that's interested in learning different languages. So um, a lot of people may remember that Muzzy used to be a VHS tape for children and people to learn different languages. Today, you can just access Muzzy online. So next is Pronunciator, which is another um, database that helps you learn different languages. Um, so this has 163 different languages, um, personalized courses, movies, music, and more. And next we have Suffolk Historic Newspapers. So these are different newspapers from Suffolk County for New York State counties um, that are available to search and browse. Okay, thank you for joining me today.
um, for this part two of virtual tips and tricks. Um, if you have any questions, you can feel free to give me a call. Um, my extension is 135. Feel free to go back and watch this again if you feel that I may have moved a little too fast and um, look forward to the next one. Thank you.